Just get out and shower. What do you think of me the way I do? Go on, let me know. You know it works. Be kind. Comment. Let's see what you've got to say for yourself. So I've got some really good news to share with you all today. I had a massive meeting with a national organization called Let's Localize. So who are Let's Localize? They're a fantastic business that are supporting schools throughout the United Kingdom. So as a lot of my kind kids know and my kindness crew, that uh, when I was growing up, we didn't have much growing up. There was, there was two camps. There was the haves and the have nots. And sadly, I was in the have nots. So I remember times when we didn't even have a tin of beans in the cupboard. So the partnership, which means Let's Localise and Kindness Matters are gonna to work together so that we can support as many young people to go through my Kindness Matters programme. And check this out. We're looking to um, get like local businesses and restaurants so that families who maybe not have, you know, the have nots, maybe not have much m money, can go out and have, you know, some nice times together and have good memories so all i'm saying is it's been a really good day and i can't wait for you all to see what's going to unfold with kindness matters and let's localize so let's localize a, a national company that supports schools and communities throughout the uk and we formed this partnership so that we can help all of our kindness matters schools and what i'm looking to um to achieve with the partnership is to support families and young people to help them get lots of discount when they go out into the community so that they're not paying full whack for, you know, for all the food. You know, like if they're eating out, I don't know, eating out in different, you know, restaurants or food places. I, I want to make it accessible for all of our Kindness Matters schools, along with Let's Localise, so that they can save money and still enjoy life. How good is that? Oh no, it were all going so well. I did, I hit the wrong button. What's this? Hold on, is it this one? I'm still learning how to do this vlogging and, and just having fun and trying not to get wound up sometimes. Isn't it funny how sometimes your emotions get the better of you? You know, sometimes you can be really happy and sometimes you can get really... Do I feel a little bit like that? Yeah, do I feel a little bit like that? I think we all feel a bit like that sometimes. But the good news is... You've got me, John McGee, the kindness coach, here to coach you. To help you feel better and learn strategies and new ways that if you're feeling a little bit you can feel a lot more happy. I'm H-A-P-P-Y. <laughs> now with a school improvement five which are based in Darwin and there's 13 primary schools who are about to come on board for the Kindness Matters 30 day challenge and inspire all their pupils to understand why Kindness Matters. How good is that? <laughs> She was in year five. So, what do you remember back in year five that I taught you? Uh, just everything to like the kindness, really. Monkey see, monkey do, kindness matters, passing anything on, really. That's the massive thing I learned, passing things on. If someone's kind to you, you be kind to someone else. Just makes everything a better environment to be in. That, that, I'm absolutely inspired. Call was amazing. I remember him, obviously. <laughs> in year five, I could tell you some funny things about that lad. Uh, with my type of speaking and mentoring, how has that helped you with your education? It made me realise how important education was and the importance to education is only for so long and then you're, in the, you're thrown into the big world on your own. So it's better to get your head down in school and pass and then get, get settled for life. Wow, Riley, 
Riley. Oh my goodness, Riley. We had some good fun teaching you the Wise Monkey program. Monkey see, monkey do. Let me know in the comment sections below what was your thoughts on what Riley shared. What, what do you remember about anything that I've taught you when I've done any coaching or mentoring or speaking in school? Um, oh, where do we start? Well, I remember when we first met, it was around Christmas time when I was coming into care. Um, and me and my brother were struggling massively. And then obviously with the support of Kindness Matters, it's kind of got us where we are now. It's got me to get my head down on my GCSEs and it's kind of made me a better person in general. And I did ask you before, would you be okay to talk about being a looked after child? Yeah. And if there's any other looked after children watching this, um, you know, is there any advice that you could yeah. give to them? It's like the stereotype of a kid in care. It's, it's not right because being in care, you get a stereotype for being a bad child, like you, you're misbehaving. But generally, we just, we, a lot of people just need that extra support. It's kind of what we got off you, John. Um, my brother's the same as well. So it's, it's kind of one of them. Like you just, you just got to keep working hard. If there is um, a, any looked after children or just children in general, if they're struggling with uh, the feelings of the thoughts, what advice would you, would you give to them? Um, a big thing for me was speaking out, speaking to people about it because you can only bottle it up for so long and then you just end up blowing. So if, if you've got someone you can go and speak to, like, like we have you, and then in school we have people like Mr. Bradshaw. Um, I speak to me, my brother a lot more now, I'm a lot more open. I speak to my friends. It's just, it's good to get it off your chest because if you don't, you're going to end up bottling it up and then it just gets worse over time. How good was that? How good was that? What Josh shared about being a looked after child. Let me know in the comments below what you think about what Josh said. How am I getting on? How am I getting on with me vlogging? Let me know in the comment section, especially all my kindness crew. All the kindness crew, let me know in the comment section before what you think about my vlogs and what do I need to do to make our vlogs even better so we can inspire more of the kindness crew to jump on board and follow me on this journey all around the UK as we create hundreds, if not thousands, of Kindness Matters schools. Woohoo! Just done a lovely good deep at day, that guy there in that silver car. So he's struggling with his little mobility scooter thing that he puts it back at Coy. So I run over and I said, looks like you need an hand with that, can I give you a hand? So I gave him a hand, helped him put it back in his car. And he was very, very grateful. And here's the thing to all my kindness crew, what you've got to do is you've got to keep your eyes peeled each day to look for opportunities to do rayock random acts of kindness. Let me know in the comments below if you've done a random act of kindness today or lately. It's been a busy week this week, so I just want to I just want to sign off this week by saying uh, thanks to Let's Localize the partnership. Thank you to Education Roundtables. Thanks to all my kind kids and the kindness crew. So I've got some pupils saying they want to be called kind kids, and some kids saying they want to be called the kindness crew. But you're all same. You know, it's all about. Just being kind every day and going out there into the world and being kind to yourself, to your family, your carers, grown-ups, adults, school, friends, community, and the planet! Don't forget the planet! So yeah, let me know what you want for this channel. It's for you. It's for you and Mr. Magoo. Before I sign off for this week, why don't you tell me, John McGee, the kindness coach, what do you do to support your mental health and well-being? What do you do? What do you currently do? Which means, what do you do to make yourself feel better? What do you do to support your mental health and your well-being? Which means, what do you do to make yourself feel good? 